Good morning to our series of Bible readings from Acts of the Apostles. And today I want to look at how we respond or how we perceive uh, crises and difficulties. Sometimes we just see the surface, the apparent and obvious difficulties. And sometimes we can look below or beneath or beyond the surface to see the opportunities contained within them. And I just want to read to you today from Acts chapter 11 verse 19 chapter 11 of acts verse 19 now those who had been scattered by the persecution that broke out when stephen was killed traveled as far as phoenicia cyprus and antioch spreading the word only among the jews some of them however men from cyprus and cyrene went to antioch and began to speak to greeks also telling them the good news about the lord jesus the lord's hand was up with them and a great number of people believed and turned to the Lord. They took an opportunity. It was a disaster. Stephen had been killed. Persecution had broken out against the church. People were scattered here, there and everywhere. And yet it was an opportunity to tell people about the Lord Jesus. Some of them uh, initially they themselves were Jewish followers of a Jewish Messiah. It was understandable they would go initially to Jews, whether they were uh, Hebraic Jews or Hellenistic Jews, conservative or liberal Jews. They would, they would go to their own people. It was obvious they were followers of their own Jewish Messiah. But some went to a city called Antioch and began to tell Greeks, that was Gentiles, non-Jewish people. They went beyond the bounds of the chosen people and went to others to tell the good news about Christ. Now we live in a different kind of crisis today. It's not a persecution as such with coronavirus. There are some countries in the world where there is active persecution, as we know. We have sisters and brothers being murdered in northern Nigeria. Uh, we have Christians being put in prison in China and in Muslim countries. We know there's persecution. But here, we don't have that, not yet. What we do have is a crisis of COVID-19 when church buildings have been closed, or many buildings have been closed, <clears throat> and when we may find it hard to reopen. And when the, uh, the crisis may well last into next year, perhaps beyond, when we have to get used to living in a permanent state of emergency. Leicester has just been returned to lockdown uh, as a as an outbreak has occurred in that city. But in this situation, there are opportunities for God. It says here, the Lord's hand was with them and the Lord's hand is with us. And there are openings and possibilities to share faith with other people. Let me share a few. <clears throat> For two years, I visited a, an old people's centre in our area. Sometimes I wondered why I was doing it. More recently, just before lockdown began, I've been invited in to minister into individuals' lives and to pray for people, led one person to faith in Christ. That's been carrying on during lockdown. and We've begun a small group. Uh, I shared a while ago that the number of small groups in our church have increased. Well, one of them is actually for people outside the church in the old people's centre. Still on the internet, but sharing the word of God. Again, opportunities on the internet itself have multiplied. Uh, at least two of us in the leadership are doing regular uh, internet uh, broadcasts like this one. Another member of one of our leaders, Malusi, is doing a weekly uh, kind of chat show a magazine format show on Sunday afternoons. Um, Alan, our new assistant minister, is uh, uh, preparing to do his own uh, online uh, broadcast as well. In addition, we've done some, we quite call it guerrilla church, just a couple of people with a guitar singing. And uh, because there's nothing else to do much on the streets, people come and listen. We encourage them to keep socially distanced so we're not breaking any regulations and not encouraging any outbreak of the virus. But it's an opportunity. There's many opportunities. We've had people come to faith in Jesus during lockdown. We've had 
inquiries about getting baptized during lockdown. I can't actually do it, but uh, maybe soon. You see, God's hand is with us. He's working. He's moving. And he invites us to join him in his movement. This is a terrible time for our planet. And we know that um, some parts of the world uh, is getting worse and is expanding exponentially. We know that the virus is not finished yet. We know that we wait for a vaccine if one comes. And for some viruses and diseases, a vaccine, we've been waiting for a vaccine for many years. There is no guarantee on a human level. But at the same time, this is an opportunity to share Christ's love and his word and his truth with other people through words and actions. We're exploring about working together with another church to house uh, a food bank in our own building. Great opportunities to share God's love with other people, not to minimize the suffering, but to see the opportunities that God is giving us at this time. This is what God is calling you to and me. His hand is with you. Let's work with him hand in hand. Let's pray. Father, thank you that you are working this season. Thank you that there are people coming to know you personally. Thank you, Lord God, that there are people being cared for and loved practically in your name. We pray for those places where there is deep suffering. We pray for those places where there is persecution. We pray for peace and justice and provision. We pray for ourselves that you'll help us to work with you because we know that your hand is with us and your hand is mighty to save. So help us to work with you, to walk with you hand in hand. Amen. Amen. Thank you for listening today. Please remember that our services at King's Cross Baptist Church are shared live on Facebook. Our midweek service on Thursday, 7 o'clock in the evening. On Sunday, 11 o'clock in the morning and 4.15 in the afternoon for our French language service. If you have prayer requests, please do send them in. We would love to pray for you. Please also subscribe to this channel on YouTube. Then you'll receive updates of what's posted. God bless you. God be with you, and he is with you. Amen.